So, hi student, uh, welcome back. So, previously we already do until formative practice 8.4 and today we are going to learn about uh, this exercise and uh, the first question is the quite a uh, straightforward question. Uh, mark correct the correct statement and X for the incorrect statement. Wilhelm Rotgen discovered the X-ray. So the answer is at page 232, you can see that Wilhelm Rotgen. Uh, Wilhelm Rotgen is the one that discovered X-ray and he won a Nobel Prize. So how to remember this? So I asked my student how to memorize this and say just, just read it. But um, actually, we need to um, think of a better way to memorize things. For example, I think a way, let's say like I want to memorize it. I will just re remember Wilhelm. Where's my pen? Oh, here's my pen. Wilhelm from the word view. You know view? Let's say I imagine a view. This is the view of a car view. Then suddenly it hit the X-ray, X-ray machine. X-ray. Of course, this imagination looks bizarre because you need to uh, imagine in your mind. Okay, can you imagine? I want you to close your eye and imagine a view hit the X-ray. Uh, then you can. Okay. Um. Okay. Lah. Quite easy to remember. But, but this is how you remember thing because you will um you you will we human we remember things easier by symbolize or imagination okay so we can see at here um henry bacura is the one that do radioactivity discover radioactive through what not through uranium and not to through not to re radium but through uranium and under and intentionally produce ray that can blacken photographic plate even if it's dark. The ray was detected by ionic property due to it. It wins the Nobel Prize. So he used what? He used uh he didn't say this uranium, but he got said huh? he found a compound called uranium. Okay, then we look at the question. The death of Mary Curie is based on the exposure to gamma ray. This one correct or wrong? Correct. Okay, Mary Curie died due to gamma ray. So we can see it here. Mary and Perry Curie. He is the one that know what? He is the one that know polonium and radium. Let's say the question no ask la. He's the one that know extract carefully polonium and radium and of course hey, where does it say it died ah? I thought he got say he, he died at here okay uh, somewhere lah, huh? I don't know but I, I remember the he died lah, huh? somewhere up there the notes I forget but I remember I got read and uh, I hope you remember too okay let's look at the back the question yeah I already write this down so very fast I can go back to this page Okay, that's the word. Mm, what is the meaning of radioactive decay? Okay, so we can see the answer here. Very good. Okay, radioactive is a random what? Is a random spontaneous process where unstable nucleus emits radioactive radiation until the nucleus become more stable. Okay, so there are a lot of uh, radioactive decay for example carbon 14 radium tantal thorium uranium and so on okay so i need to write it down and the next question name uh what's the word again name the red okay name the radioactive substance in the common sort used in medical field so the answer is at P hundred forty eight. You can see that it is at called the sodium twenty four to locate blood clot. 
Okay, so that will inject this um, radioactive decay, uh, radioactive um, substance into your body. So the the thing will detect. Okay, there's a machine to detect the ra uh, the radiation of sodium. Then he will know whether the bronco is in the brain, in the hand, in the leg, in the body, or which which part of the brain and so on. Of course, you say, oh, not that dangerous, man. So actually, it is not that dangerous because you only do one time. Uh. Not every day you go and do it. Uh. First, you only go and do one time. Secondly, because this thing got half-life. You also learn about half-life, correct or not? Where's my half-life? Uh, I don't know where is it, up or down. So there is a half life where it will be reduced by half. So I I forget the half life. So if I'm not mistaken, around three to four days, the the thing will disappear because due to half life, ma, after one day it's become half. After one day become you only got twenty five percent, and then another day you only get twelve point five. So at, at last it will some it will like disappear from your body. It's not like it, it's going to stay at that forever. So we think that it is all right. So name the radioactive substance that is common in salt. So it is sodium twenty four. Let's put here sodium twenty four. Okay, or I can say Na twenty four. Same lah. I um uh, just forget this one lah. Sodium twenty four can ready. Okay, name the radioactive substance. Eh, I should write here. Sorry. PA Okay, so PA is something like Harry substance, substance not, not that important uh. 2, 3, 4 decay to Uranium U3, 4 By emitting a beta radiation The half-life of uh, What is this called? Uh, protactinium is 5.2 hour What is the remaining mass Of PA 2, 3, 4 After 20.8 hour Given to its original mass is 32 gram So I highlight this first its original mass is 32 half life is 5.2 and uh, the remaining mass is this one of 20.8 so what is the remaining mass so how to do this question okay first you just write 0 hour because you need to get um, 20.8 so the half life is 5.2 so 0 hour you get 5.2 after another half life it will be times 2 la 5.2 times 2 you get 10.4 then you times 2 again you get 15.6 oh, sorry plus 5.6 then again you plus 5.6 you get 20.8 okay 20.8 then the first mass is 32 gram so i just write here 32 gram then 32 gram because it's half life so i divided by 2 it will be 16 gram after 16 gram i divided by 2 i will get 8 gram then i will get 4 gram then i will get uh 2 gram so there is a 1 2 3 4 4 half life that we can C uh, or another way you can do it by like this lah huh? 32 times half times half times half or 32 times 1 over 2 power of 4 up to you lah huh? it's still the same thing but but I think we just use I would recommend lah huh? children to use this method because I think this is the easiest it won't be too long but but some I read some book that teach by this formula but it's up to you but I think the easiest way is do this first then you do this so you get 2 gram be careful when the question if la, if the question asks you the total gram of everything is still 32 gram huh? correct or not the total of everything is still 32 gram it's just like 2 gram is the PA and maybe other thing is for example other thing like uh, uranium is uh, 30 gram let's say lah huh, it's something like this okay so it doesn't disappear you know even you put there 
you put at the weight though it's radioactive all the energy come out but you still get 10 gram if not it will be teleportation i put something then the something disappear the something cannot disappear the something will be always at there so that's why um the sometimes we might think that hey then the thing becomes smaller 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 then gone no the thing is still the same which is 32 gram but of course sometimes you put naphthalene pill or something uh, the, you know the naphthalene pill that you buy from 99 you put in your kitchen put in your i don't know lah somewhere lah huh? then the cockroach will die the white color small thing then ubat gegat then it will disappear it's not it disappear uh, it dissolve into the air okay because the wind blow like also the then the thing will go into the wind then it will disappear because it cannot become liquid it will just can become gas so it, it's not disappear it just fly to somewhere else so thing cannot disappear for now la, science la, unless you not watch the movie can teleport la. so far uh, i don't see anything that can disappear except one thing la, ha, the quartz disappear but that one is uh, never mind we're not going to go there tables 1a and 1b show the formation of ion okay so it's formation of ion let's see magnesium atom tiaf 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 zero charge so it makes sense um, okay how do i when actually the main thing i want to look la, i i think the main thing that i want to look is just here just ignore this side because i see that proton is the same as electron means no charge if proton more than electron it is negative if electron more than proton and then this one is negative sorry this is negative and uh, if proton more than electron is positive so i think it's very easy to remember because proton is uh ma proton positive ma pro electron is negative so so it's easy so of course um i want to see this also i don't want to see this first i see this first uh i can see here this is 10 so proton more than electron 2 so it's positive 2 so very easy to remember i don't need to remember this whole thing so i just i can that what what i need to do is i just want to see this one and and we can see that okay now proton is more than electron 2 means the electron go away already first, first i got 12 mark then after that i two disappear so i lost two electron it must be go to somewhere else because i i i, I certainly i don't have ready so i think the, the the easiest way is to remember like the i mean to understand like this lah huh? why because let's say i draw the magnesium let's say i draw the electron the the thing is it always need eight eight to stay stable so it's one two three four five six seven eight here will be for example one two so it will become mg eight one two three four five six seven eight plus two electron okay because these two don't know go to where already okay give other people already give i don't want you okay not stable so i give other people so uh, when you give other people that's why you lose two electron but inside inside is still 12 outside electron is only got 10 so proton more than electron by two so the charges will be two positive okay so we can see here two positive but of course it's not positive too ah. some people write like this right jia e ma mathematic ma or jian e ma mathematic okay not like that lah it's just um 
when we talk about ion we 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 just put the number first then you put the positive at behind okay okay so let me try ask you a question let me erase this and I erase this one okay oh, yeah erase this one hopefully you didn't see the answer okay so for the atom A I will say this is figure A la. figure A this one is uh, positive neutral or negative is neutral why why is it neutral so it atom A is neutral why because proton is the same as electron very good how about B B is positive negative or neutral okay so B is negative very good why Okay, so we can say proton less than electron. So I will just say lah, huh? electron more than proton. Electron more than proton. So what? So this one is, I should put gain electron or lose electron. Yeah, very good. So this is gain electron. The reason is uh, the, we can see here is 9 here is 10 so you people give you you take one already so you get one electron what are the charge for atom B yeah very good is negative so fluorine negative but of course you don't need to put one now because one means is one mark cannot be negative zero mark huh? negative zero means zero also mean nothing must be negative one okay so um, very messy so let me just erase a little bit so you can see sure that you understand already gain electron okay is the ion form in table 1a a positive ion or negative ion oh 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 oh, oh. okay 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 wait um okay the the thing that i teach here is for you to understand what is uh what is positive and negative in the easier sense because this is what i learned and this is the thing that i think is easier for me to understand and for you to understand but when when you explain the answer let's say you say this uh, is the ion in table one positive and negative so we know that in table one the ion is positive okay it's positive and they will ask you why explain your answer you need to say because it lose two electron you cannot say because the electron is more eh, sorry you cannot say that the proton is more than electron in the ions the actually it is still correct it is still correct but in your syllabus this is the main point because it lose two electron because if because I will say my why it become uh, positive because proton more than electron two and then why it more than two because it lose two electron so you got two answer correct or not or you, I can say why it become positive because it lose two electron so the charges will be positive two you also can say that i mean so there are many there are few ways to mention the answer so for your for pt3 ah uh, so possibly explain your answer why because it loses two electron uh yeah that's why I, I say i teach you how to draw first how after how you draw you can count the electron state the ion form in b 1b positive or negative ion form is a negative ion very good why it, it, it is negative ion why because f atom gains one electron to form f ion 
correct okay so f elect f atom very good f atom gains one electron to form f ion uh wait ah, where's my eraser uh, where is my eraser? Okay, F ion. F ion means F negative. So sometimes students will confuse, you know. So we'll confuse the atom and ions. What are the difference between atom and ion? This is all you need to know. Atom and ion. When we are talking about atom, usually it's zero charge no charge when we are talking about ion usually got charge so that is the difference that you can see that's why the answer say fluorine atom to gain one electron to become fluorine ion or fl negative fluorine ion i cannot say that fluorine atom gains one electron become fluorine or i cannot say fluorine ion gain one electron become fluorine atom how to remember? Always remember, atom no charge. Ion means got charge. That is how you remember. Why? Because you are going to use it for next year or so. Because next year is very more tough and usually students will confuse uh, when it, to use ion and atom because they thought it's the same. No, it's not the same. Atom means no charge. Ion is got charge. So if you mix up in your answer in exam, so your uh, your teacher will give you wrong lah, zero lah because it's not following the marking scheme number six state three similars between x-ray and gamma ray yeah so three three diff three similarities so we can see the first one if, if we can find the book is x-ray ultraviolet ray uh, light and gamma ray has the ionizing radiation so both are ionizing reaction both has high penetration power correct or not because we know gamma ray and x-ray it can pass through the object a lot like gamma ray you know like i can kill cancer scale and x-ray that's why it's called x-ray but if x-ray cannot pass through your body then then how it can uh, scan your body and last one it is it has electromagnetic wave okay so it will be this one okay uh, i have high ionizing radiation high penetration power and uh, electromagnetic wave okay a few more uh, last one uh. state three similarity oh this one already b figure one show the condition of two samples of strawberry x and y before and after seven day so uh we can see day one and this one spoil day one after seven days is not spoiled so uh, uh i mean we can do some hypothesis or inference i mean the inference i would say like uh maybe this one you got spray chemical is it or maybe this one you you already sterilize it or i don't know I mean it's just inference like we don't know but let's read the question um, which sample has been preserved explain your answer so we say that uh, which one has been preserved what does it mean by preserve okay uh, very long uh, the, 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 the definition but I just say to uh, to keep something from uh, to prevent uh, huh? let's say I just make it simple like uh, just Google it to prevent something from decay okay decay means spoil lah, huh? decay means spoil so when you read in your uh, science uh, the first thing that we always want to do is always find dictionary and know because how we can do if we don't know what is the word huh? we must know what is the word download in your app very fast on the at first you will find very slow okay but you should be lucky because you got the phone ah, just very fast on it all teacher i know very fast on it or you go google okay so you you, you must know and you must um, find not during my time ah, i use book you know so whenever i go to school or university i bring a dictionary and teacher teach me and find very slow now you you, you should be thank god ah, because you got the dictionary in your phone okay 
So uh, which sample has been preserved? So of course the answer will be strawberry. Why? Because why no spoil ma? Ah, because uh, preserve means don't die lah. Like to preserve the person, they put in the mummy. So when you put in the mummy, then the person won't decay, won't the person die? But you still can see the skin and face. It's very old lah, like uncle lah. But you can preserve the skin. And why? Ah, uh, because it is still in a good condition. Okay, because it is still in a good condition. So I don't want to write down lah. I also got no space to write down. So uh, we are going to continue this after the break. So I see you soon and bye.